Hi, I'm the PC Police. I use fear, intimidation, and abuse to get you to betray your intelligence. I convince you that common sense and basic intelligence is hate speech. I act like I'm making you more kind, but I'm really just making you more weak. Instead of letting your kindness come from actual acts of kindness and respect, I get you to virtue signal fear and anger and call it kindness while denying your intelligence and making yourself dumb enough to not believe reality. My inclusivity movement is built on a solid foundation of rejecting people who aren't inclusive. Yeah, I literally hate you because you voted for Trump. That might seem like the opposite of inclusiveness if you're forgetting to not think. A penis and a vagina? If you can tell the difference, then I'll label you transphobic. If you love and accept people for being who they are, but you're using your intelligence at the same time, I'll still convince you you're being hateful. because. I know about you better than you know about you because look how stable I am. If your intelligence tells you something that I don't like, then I'll label you some kind of phobic to shame your intelligence so you won't use it anymore. Then you're controllable. That way when you see something that's wrong, instead of thinking it's wrong, you'll think you're wrong. Then you'll accept the wrong thing as the right thing because you're making yourself wrong and I'm helping you do it. Then you'll still be intelligent, but you won't be accessing your intelligence because I made you ashamed of it when I called you phobic. And you believe me. And I did this because I'm kind and I'm teaching you to be kind. Like a parent who teaches her children to be kind by hitting them. And then you'll start attacking other people the way I attacked you to teach them kindness. Like a kid who's been hit starts hitting other kids to teach them to be kind too. And not only does that make the world a better place, it makes the world a more destructive place. It's emotional terrorism. <laughs> Let's be inclusive. Dead people are alive too. That makes sense. When you obey me, you dumb yourself down and become weaker. Then you're filled with emotional hysteria that you project onto everyone around you. But you're really just angry because it's infuriating to deny yourself your own intelligence. F me. And then when there's something that requires bravery and intelligence to stand up against, you don't because you're in such a weakened state. Then you'll be scared enough to go along with what you should be standing up against. Like instead of being strong enough to have your bravery and intelligence stop the abuse, your fear compels you to go along with the abuse. But you don't see the abuse as abuse, you see it as virtue. If I've gotten to you enough, I convince you that science is wrong because it's not inclusive enough. And I make you afraid, which disconnects you from God. And that makes you turn your back on both truth and a higher truth. And that makes you very deceivable. And that's empowering. Science is wrong because it's hateful. And I'm right because I'm loving. This is my baby. I want to breastfeed, but I'm having trouble with my milk. But because there's no biological difference between men and women, they'll probably come in really soon. I help weaken the fabric of your psyche to help weaken the fabric of society so something terrible can take root. I made it a moral crime to be a patriot, and I did it by convincing you that your morality is a terrorist. So now you listen to me instead of it. Together, we can make freedom fall. When I see you being a free sovereign being speaking your own thoughts, I silence you. I rip your first amendment away from you by throwing a motion of rage at you. Then you're canceled and therefore silenced. I created cancel culture. Then I got big tech on board with my ways. Then I got politicians on board. Then I got a guy into office. Now your constitutional rights will be taken away at the highest level. The constitution will be canceled. Then everyone loses, which means I win. Hollywood manipulates people into adopting my ideologies to make people into weak water bags. And I wonder why people think Hollywood's soulless. If you're doing something called exercising your freedoms and therefore not wearing a mask, I'll call you a Karen. That'll make people think your act of freedom is an act of shame. People and sheep are both mammals. As the PC police, I accept your gratitude for serving you fear and protecting you from freedom and courage. You're welcome. Please keep being my slave. I want to thank the sponsor of this video, Primally Pure Deodorant. Because the idea of putting toxic chemicals on my body doesn't make sense to me, I used to not wear deodorant, but I smelled. And I didn't have any friends because of it. Uh, yeah. I used to not like JP because he smelled. But then I found Primally Pure Deodorant, and now it's exclusively the only deodorant I wear. And I don't smell anymore. I still don't like JP, but at least it doesn't smell anymore. I love Primally Pure because it's all organic, it's fair trade, and it comes in a variety of wonderful scents, all of which make me smell better than I actually smell. Now, sometimes my friends even lick me, which makes me feel acknowledged and validated. I love using Primally Pure because it's healthy, it's all natural, and it works, where it legitimately gives me odor protection even while I live a very active lifestyle. I'm proud to use Primally Pure because it protects me and my family from harmful toxins, 
and it makes me smell better, which makes people like me. I hate toxic deodorants, but love toxic people. Full disclosure, Veda does not use Primally Pure. If you live with strong health values like I do, then join me in protecting your health values while smelling great by going to primallypure.com JP to get your Primally Pure deodorant.